had aircraft, they had spotters, they had speed boats, they had bombs they were throwing in the water. They were lighting their bombs with acetylene torches in their boats and throwing them as fast as they could to herd the whales into coves. But the orcas had been caught before, and they knew what was going on, and they knew their young ones would be taken from them. So the adults without young went east into a cul-de-sac, and the boats followed them, thinking they were all going that way, while the mothers with babies went north. But the capture teams had aircraft, and they have to come up for air eventually, and when they did, the capture teams alerted the boats and said, oh no, they're going north, the ones with babies. So the boats, the speed boats, caught them there and herded them in. And then they had fishing boats with seine nets that they would stretch across so none could leave, and then they could just pick out the young ones. We are only after the little one. And a little one is, you know, a big animal still. But I was told because of shipping costs, that's why they only take the little ones. They had the young ones that they wanted in the corrals, so they dropped the same nets, and all the others could have left, but they stayed. Where they're trying to get the young orca in the stretcher, and the whole fam family is out here 25 yards away, maybe, in a, in a big line, and they're communicating back and forth. Well. You understand then what, what you're doing, you know. I, I lost it. I mean, I just I started crying. I didn't stop working, but I, you know, I just couldn't handle it. And just like kidnapping a little kid away from her mother. Everybody's watching, what can you do? It's the worst thing I can think of, you know? I can't think of anything worse than that. Now, it just really sounds bad, but when the whole hunt was over, there were three dead whales in the net. And uh, so they had Peter and Brian and I cut the whales open fill them with rocks to put anchors on their tail and sink them. Well, you know, really, I didn't even think about it being illegal at that point. I thought it was a PR thing. They were finally ejected from the state of Washington uh, by a court order in 1976. It was SeaWorld by name that was told, do not come back to Washington to capture whales. Without missing a beat, they went from Washington to Iceland and began capturing there. I have been part of a revolution and two change of presidents in Central and South America and seen some things that it's hard to believe, but this is the worst thing that I've ever done is hunt that whale. Sealand has been a part of Victoria for over 20 years. We specialize in the care and display of killer whales. By the time I started, when he was four, he was up to 16 feet long and weighed 4,000 pounds. 